have a witness in the house. Hallelujah. The Bible says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise, his praise shall continually be in my mouth. We got something to give thanks for today. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's give the Lord a big shout of praise. As I was sitting there, I just hold the, heard the Holy Spirit say, not with my ears, but in my spirit, that whatever you have need of, you get your expectancy out right now because God is moving in the house. God is showing up. He is showing up to meet your need. If it's healing, if it's restoration, if it's peace of mind, if it's financial, it doesn't matter. He is the God of it all. Amen. So declare this with me. God's got it. One more time. God's got it. One more shout of praise. Hallelujah. Our God is greater. Our God is greater. Our God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, awesome and power. Our God, our God. Our God is greater. Our God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, awesome and power. It's who I am. It's who I am. 
It's who you are. It's who you are. It's who you are. And I'm in love by you. It's who I am. It's who I am. It's who I am. You are perfect. You are perfect in all of your ways. You are perfect in all of your ways. You are perfect.
on how great you are. You got to shout for him today. Hallelujah. We need what we're singing. My God, how great you are. How great.
us to worship you. I came just to sing your praise. Come on, lift your hands with me. I came to love you, Lord. Your hearts with me. Heavenly Father, we come to you in the name that is above every other name, the name of Jesus Christ. We've come to worship him, magnify him, glorify him, exalt him above all other things in our life. Jesus, we love you. We're so thankful for you, what you've done for us. We're forever grateful, Lord Jesus. Thank you for standing in our stead so we do not have to be condemned in our sins. Thank you for shedding the blood that cleanses us wholly and completely and thoroughly forever and ever and ever. We love you so much. We just love to say the name Jesus. Isn't that the best name in the world, in the universe? Jesus! Jesus! You know, he's as close as the mention of his name. The Bible says, all who call upon his name shall be saved. Uh, That's the only name that makes eternal difference in somebody's life. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. 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 There's just something 
Bible gives us many instances of those who called upon his name, blind Bartimaeus, those who were afflicted, those who were the outcasts, those who had been shunned in society, stood on the outskirts of the crowds, and yet they called Jesus, Jesus, son of David, Jesus. And so, so very often the crowds would quiet them. Be quiet, be quiet. He doesn't have time for you. But Jesus would stop. That always excited me in Scripture. When I would read of Jesus stopping. And the Bible says he would fasten his eyes on them and say, what do you have need of? Just receive my sight, Lord. Let it be unto you according to your faith. He never denied. He never withheld. He never refused. He healed all who called upon his name. Oh, we bless that name today, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the name. Thank you for the name of Jesus. Thank you for the name of Jesus. And you know, the beautiful thing about it is, he gave us, as born-again believers, the right and the privilege to use his name. You say, Jesus isn't here anymore. Well, he's in us. He lives in us by the Holy Spirit. And he gives us the right and the authority, John chapter 14, to use his name. He said, whatsoever things you ask in my name, I will do it. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, I got to praise him for a second. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, we bless that name. We bless that holy name, that glorious, magnificent, wondrous name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I speak over you. And I say in the name of Jesus Christ, be healed, be healthy. Be well in your body. Be encouraged in your spirit. Be peaceful in your heart. Be prosperous in your life. Be encouraged. Be strengthened right now in the name of Jesus Christ. If you say, I believe it, then say, I believe it and I receive it right now in my life in Jesus' name. Let it be unto you according to your faith. And the church said, amen. amen. I said the church said, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Pastor Jose, come up here. Por favor, aquí, aquí, por favor. Speak a blessing 
over the house. Hallelujah. Padre, gracias, gracias, Señor. Venimos con un corazón constrito, humillado, Dios mío, delante de tu presencia. Este es el día que hizo el Señor, día de alegría, día de gozo, día de esperanza, día, Dios mío, de transformación. Y la iglesia recibe, Padre, en esta mañana, Dios mío, el gozo del Señor. Recibimos de ti, Dios mío, la bendición tuya, Padre, porque somos una iglesia. Somos una iglesia poderosa, una iglesia llena del Señor, llena de tu gracia, llena de tu poder, Señor. Y este día, Dios mío, reciben en esta mañana, Dios mío, tu casa recibe la bendición poderosa del Espíritu Santo sobre cada uno de nosotros, en salud, en prosperidad, o oh, en bendición, en todo lo que que cada uno necesitamos para la gloria de tu nombre. Amén, Señor, y amén. And the church said, amén. Aleluya. Gracias. Gracias, Pastor. Aleluya. Turn to your neighbors. Tell them this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Greet everybody. Hug a neck, shake a hand, give a high five, fist bump, tell somebody, I love you. Jesus loves you. This is a great day. Hallelujah. God bless you. Love you too. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We're getting ready to do something very exciting here. So I'll ask the uh, pastors, elders, ministers to join me up on the stage, if you would. Praise the Lord. Those who aren't serving in other areas this morning, come on up, come on up. Praise the Lord. And spouses of pastors, elders, ministers. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We are adding to our number of leadership this morning because we're going to recognize Brian True as a minister of services. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You know, Brian and Minister Marianne have been so active here at Grandview since way back. And uh, they've always put their hand to the plow. They've always been busy, so very faithful at everything. And uh, he has taken leadership positions in many different areas, but particularly in the operation and the function of our church services. He oversees all of the altar ministry. He oversees all the ushers and greeters and this and that. And, and he just makes sure everything works. I, Debbie and I depend on him tremendously. He's a good man. He's a faithful man. He's a faith man. He's a word man. He, he's an encourager. Um, he's someone you want to have on your team. <laughs> And we just love him so much, and we're so thankful that God sent the truths to Grandview. And uh, what a pillar that they both have been, pillars in the house of God, holding up the structure of ministry. Um, Minister Mary Ann has, uh, is our minister of care, but she also helps administrate the church in many different ways, and, and she's a superstar. He equally so. And so it is our delight today to recognize Brian True as what we shall call as title, Minister of Services. So, uh, Brian, come on up if you would, please, sir. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Stand here with me. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. <laughs> now... Just for technical purposes, and thank you for standing. You may be seated. 
uh, I'm the one that usually takes pictures of these things, but I'm up here, so somebody out there is going to have to help me and take a picture or two of the proceedings here so that we have them for our records and, of course, for Facebook publishing. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Brian, I want to speak over you a blessing, blessing of leadership in the house. We do not appoint someone to a leadership position and then hope that they rise to the occasion. We recognize people that are already functioning in that position and then we just give them the official title. And that's what you've been doing for a long, long time. When uh, Elder Tom, Pastor Tom graduated to heaven, everything fell to you and you have shouldered it well. The mantle came down onto you and uh, you have shouldered it well. So I want to speak a blessing over you, then we're going to anoint you, leadership is going to lay hands on you, pray for you, and uh, the church family will extend their faith forward, and we'll just seal this occasion, okay? Today, April 16th, 2023, the Board of Directors of Grandview Church, before these witnesses, recognize the Lord's calling to the office and function of Minister of Services upon the life of Brian True. This is a holy calling, setting this man apart for the purposes of the chief, she chief shepherd, the Lord Jesus Christ, to further his cause and kingdom and to care for and to feed his flock, the church. As Elijah cast the mantle of ministry upon Elisha, we bestow upon you the mantle of minister. And as Elijah requested Elisha requested a double portion of the anointing we declare increased anointing upon your life as you fulfill the calling upon your life we declare by faith that you will enter into a greater measure of favor and blessings of the Lord we declare that in this faith family you are loved and valued and honored in your position as minister the church will lift you up diligently in prayer. We declare that you will prosper in your redemptive purpose in the earth. We declare that you will walk victoriously in Christ, anointed with the Holy Spirit, full of grace and peace, and everything you put your hand to will prosper. We declare that your spiritual gifts will add to the ministries of Grand View and the depth and breadth and the height of your ministry will increase. We declare over you life and life abundant. We rebuke the devourer from your borders. Upon recognition of the divine gift and the calling to the ministry of the gospel of Jesus Christ, and having met all standards prescribed by the Word of God and the Board of Directors of Grandview Church, may it be known to all people that Brian True is called into the ministry of Jesus Christ with all its rights and privileges and obligations. We pronounce blessings upon you by saying, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And the church said, amen, amen and amen. Will you? Amen. Amen. I got one, sweetie. Um, will you extend your hands forward? Pastors, elders, ministers, will you come lay hands upon you? Stand right here if you would, please, sir. Praise the Lord. Debbie, honey, can I just put this in your hands, sweetheart? Thank you. The anointing oil is a symbol of the anointing of the Holy Spirit. In Scripture, we have references of the prophet and the priest and the king being anointed with oil when they were consecrated to their office. And this is exactly what we're going to do right now. Brian True, in the name of Jesus Christ, we anoint you with oil as a sign and symbol of the anointing of the Holy Spirit upon your life. 
we declare that you are consecrated to the office of minister. And in that consecrated consecration, you are separated unto the will and the purposes of God Almighty. May the Holy Spirit lead you and guide you in all that you do, empowering you with an anointing and supernatural Amen. power yes. to operate above yes. your human abilities, yes. your human knowledge, yes. your human wisdom. Thank you. May you walk in God's favor and blessings all of your days. In Jesus' holy name we pray Hallelujah. and we say amen, amen. and amen. God bless you, my friend. Amen. Praise the Lord. With that, we have this certificate, Minister of Services. Amen. I don't want to touch it too much because I'm going to get anointing oil on it. Oh, maybe that's a good thing. <laughs> Amen. Grandview Church, Minister of Services, whereas having met the biblical standards for the work of the minister, uh, of the minister and demonstrated his discipleship gifts and confirmation of his calling to serve Jesus Christ in Grandview Church, we, the board of Grandview Church, hereby recognize Brian Chu as a minister of Grandview Church on this 16th day of April in the year of our Lord 2023. The aforementioned individual is hereby recognized to perform all the duties of a minister in accordance with the Bible and church policies and bylaws signed by Pastor James and Pastor Debbie. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Love you, sir. Love you. Well, let's give the Lord one big praise and amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Oh, come, let us adore Him. Oh, come, let us adore Him. be seated. Ushers, come on ahead. Praise the Lord. These are such precious moments because you know what's happened? God has just taken Grandview to another level. Amen. The Bible says that the faithful man shall abound with blessings. And you know, it's as uh, Jamie said, you start, and, and some of you may want to be asking, well, you know, how do I get there? Start where you are. Be faithful with whatever God has laid to your charge. And then look to see, God, can I go beyond? And then just be faithful. Amen. Well, let's give God one more praise. Amen. For those that are with us for the first time today, we welcome you to Grandview Church. And we call you a first-time attender or anyone that is watching online for the first time. We just say welcome to Grandview Church. Amen. And we believe that the Lord brought all of you here today, and there's a whole bunch more getting ready to come. Amen. Praise the Lord. God is so good. This place is almost filled to capacity. God is good, isn't he? And so anyhow, so if you're with us for the first time today, we are just so happy that you're with us. And the chair that is in front of you, the back of that chair, there is a card it looks like this, and one side says new to GVC, and the other side says information card. Well, if you are attending with us today for the first time, do us a favor, 
and just fill out the portion new to GVC. And if you will, at the end of the service, take it back to the table that are, that's in front of the cameras, and we have a gift for you. It's a surf bottle filled with candy, a pen, a book that we wrote just for you. And, uh, it would, and by doing that, it gives us an opportunity to send you a letter to let you know how glad we are that you're with us and that lets us tell you a little bit more about GVC. So would you welcome those that are with us for the first time? And Grandview family, if you have any changes that you need to make, it's amazing. I'll be calling people, and I'm calling and calling, and they're like, oh, my number changed. So make sure that you keep your data up to date, okay? And you can do that by filling out this information card. If you have a praise report, a prayer request, a healing testimony, you have a question, you have uh, going to be in the hospital, you want to visit, you can sign up for baptism, baby dedication, and a whole bunch more. So these, uh, this piece of information is really, really important. And so, as I said, I'm just so happy that you're here today. Yay! Isn't it good to be in the house of the Lord? I'm so thankful for the GVC app where you can watch online. But you know, there's nothing like being in the house. Uh, sometimes I'll go onto the app to make sure we're up and running while I'm sitting here just to make sure everything is good. And I'm like, well, that's really good, but nothing like being here. And so thank you for being at Grandview Church today. Today after the service, Jamie and I will be meeting with the teen uh, leaders, impact leaders, and also the next-gen leaders. It's our roundtable. It will be held over in the next-gen building today. And so if you are a part of that ministry, it's really important that we meet with you. We try to do it monthly or every other month. And so we just have a lot to share. So make sure you're there. And then Shoes on the Move is this Saturday. <laughs> Yay. Oh, I want a better than that. Yay. Thank you, Minister George. It is going to be great. And uh, I'm still just trying to finalize a couple of things in my heart. Uh, I know which direction we're going. But let me tell you, the lunch is going to be amazing. Carla and Bill wanted to do an Easter lunch. And so it's going to be good, right? Outside on uh, the courtyard. So make sure you're signed up if you haven't already. And then Friday, April 28th, Impact is having their Friday fun night. So this is something that the, the teens themselves have come up with, and uh, periodically they'll do a Friday night fun night. And so make sure your teens are there and uh, that they just come expecting. It's good to have bonds, amen, yeah. to be able to build relationships. So that is very important. And then say April 30th. April 30th. <laughs> One more time. April 30th. I am so thrilled, Jamie and I, that David Ellis, Pastor David Ellis, is going to be with us that weekend. That is just so amazing. And he told me, he says, well, I've got to get back to the airport because I'm going to the recording studio. I don't know if that's with Kenneth Copeland or who he's going but the next morning, he's in the recording studio. So this guy, the Lord has opened up many, many doors for him. And so it is just a great joy to have him in the house. You can read more about him if you have not been in the service with him. Is there anybody that you haven't been in the service when he's been here? I'm going to tell you, this guy can sing and he can play the piano, can he? And so he's going to be with us for the weekend. Now, listen up real good. On Saturday, the 29th, he's going to work with the worship team first. And then at 1130, he's going to work with the choir. 
And so you will be singing a song or two with him on Sunday. So choir, be here on Saturday, April 29th at 1130, okay? And then at 2 o'clock, he is going to be doing a session on prayer and impartation. Wow. And this is just a bonus. I just said, David, you know, you're coming. You don't need to sit in a hotel room. Let's put you to work. And he was like, I've got such a love for the local church. And so make sure that you're here. Prayer uh, warriors, make sure you're here. On Saturday at 2 o'clock, you can invite people from other churches because this is a great opportunity for us to have David uh, come and speak into our lives. This is a man that prays. And so aren't you glad about that? Amen. Amen. Say, I'm there. All right, and then also on April 30th, we are going to recognize all of our ministry assistants. I'm just so grateful for you. Amen. Amen. So on that day, it will be a special day. Yes, David will be here, and he'll be doing the hymns and some worship. It's going to be a great Sunday, but we're also going to recognize you that serve week after week after week. We have a gift for you, and we'll have a special presentation for you, so you got to make sure you're here. Now, here's the key. I want to make sure that we recognize everybody we're supposed to, all right? So what does that mean that you'll be recognized? If you are a ministry assistant, you are under a department, you serve regularly, and you're on the schedule or you're assigned different responsibilities, that's who I'm talking to. Not if you help somebody get in their chair last Sunday. I just got to be really, really clear. So these are the people that you're on the schedule every month and that you, uh, you serve regularly, and this church could not function without you. So we have been working on this, and it, then it just happened that David Ellis wanted to come that Sunday And I said, David, just come and be part of the church family. So he is very excited that he's here on the Sunday that our ministry assistants will be recognized. Now, some people call call them volunteers. We don't because volunteers kind of has the mindset, I can show up when I want to. A ministry assistant means you are on your wall in your place, helping Jamie and Debbie make sure that that service goes without a hitch. Amen? Amen. So it's not, a, we don't look at it as volunteers. You are helping minister to the people, and we are so grateful for you. Amen? Amen. And uh, let me just say, uh, Curtis Mize, he's going to help us with the parking lot. He's going to lead that area. He's going to be working with the safety team right now. And so if you're willing to help him, is Curtis outside or in here? I think he's outside. So if you are willing to help him, one service, two services a month, please see him. He's very tall. And so uh, Brian and them can hook you up with him because we need your help. And starting on Wednesday, May 31st through July 20. Six, Angie Quidley, where's Angie? Angie Quidley is going to offer, yeah, <clears throat> every Wednesday, she will offer free piano or voice lessons. And I would say they're free as long as you show up. You don't show up, pay your $30. 50 All right, I heard 50 Is it 30 50 And so, anyhow, she's very gifted, so make sure if you want to grow in that area, just see her. It's free. It's on Wednesdays. And then finally, VBS, we will have Vacation Bible School. 
Amen. This is so important, and it's so big in Jamie's heart, as the choir is huge in his heart, I'll just tell you. And so uh, we will have it Sunday, June 25th through Wednesday, June 28th at 6 o'clock in the evening. If you would like to help, because we need a whole bunch of people to make that happen, would you see Miss Rhea? Just see her, and aren't you glad that we have a pathway to reach the children in the community? Amen. Give God praise and welcome my love. Praise the Lord. Good job. Very good. Praise the Lord. That was good, Debs. Praise God. So excited about the teen Friday night fellowship things. That's vision coming to pass because when we built the teen building and put the basketball court in there and the fire pit we had the vision that on weekends our teens would not have to go somewhere else they could come to church and have a good time and uh, I thank Minister Paul and all of the team uh, for putting all that together that is exciting news praise the Lord well God is good all the time amen I'm so excited David is coming Pastor David is coming don't miss it, don't miss it, invite everybody, because that Sunday morning is going to be a total focus on praise and worship. It's going to be all praise, it's going to be a day of praise. And so do not miss that, because he is one of the stellar uh, praise leaders in the body of Christ, so do not miss this opportunity. And then he's going off to record. How do you not know? It might be me and David going to cut an album. It could be. He could, it could be. It could be. Angie, I need to sign up for voice lessons. Where's Angie? <laughs> me, 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 me. She says, no, 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 no. <laughs> what, what do you mean you're all booked up? There's no room left. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hey, the Bible says if you're faithful in little things, uh, you'll be faithful in the large ones. Got to take care of the little stuff. Faithful in the little things. We need to start our children off in the little things. Be faithful with the little things. Uh, when Debbie and I started in the body of Christ, when I was really born again, filled with the Holy Ghost 40 years ago in our marriage, a little beyond that, um, we didn't have anything. We had less than anything. I think we had negative stuff. And yet we just started being faithful with the little that we had. And got into a pattern of it, and then over the 40 years, just grew in that faithful responsibility. And when it becomes part of your life, you don't even think about it anymore. It's just what you do. It's just what you do. And so when it says be faithful in the little things, you will be faithful as you grow into the larger things. Someone say, praise the Lord. Yeah, and if you're dishonest in the little things, say, not me. You won't be honest in the great responsibilities. If you're untrustworthy about worldly wealth, who will trust you in true riches of heaven? If you're not faithful with other people's things, why would you be trusted with things of your own? No one can serve two masters. You'll hate the one, love the other. You'll be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. That's a true statement. We only serve God, and money serves the purposes of God in our lives. So we serve God, money serves us. Some would say amen. amen. And you do need money to serve you. If you have a, a God calling, all of us do, have a God calling and purpose in our life, we need resources to make that happen, don't we? Uh, when Debbie and I were called of God to open this church, uh, the first thing that we had to think about was the resources. The who, the what, the when, the where, the how, uh, to make it all happen. And we have to walk in faithfulness and, and faith all the time So and believe God that we will always have the resources to make it happen. We just got a letter this past week or so uh, from one of our insurance agents. You carry a lot of insurance in Florida. And uh, they just increased our insurance, $8,000. Just like that, $8,000. Please send us a bigger check. Hey, you got to walk by faith. Come on, somebody. You got to walk by faith. Glory to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm just going to have a moment with Jesus right now. Amen. God is so faithful, isn't he? I said God is so faithful. Praise the Lord. So say this with me out loud. I am 
faithful in the little things, and God can trust me with the big things. Say amen. Amen. Let's hold our seat up before the Lord. Heavenly Father, we are so thankful and happy and joyous that we can bring this offering before you today. Lord, it is our good pleasure to sow this seed into good ground. And we declare it will bring a harvest of souls saved, bodies healed, lives changed. In Jesus' holy name we pray. And we say amen and amen. God bless you in your giving. All my life you have been faithful. All my life you have been so, so kind. With every breath that I am faithful, I will see of the goodness of God. Give you 